I like these guys' theme song, it's so good. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Dude, is that a dog? <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will saw, swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. My traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This wasn't our decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. 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 You did the thing, bro. You did the thing. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. I sure as hell don't. Oh wait, yes, I do. Welcome, Snowden. Is this where Snowden got asylum? A, a save. Alright, what's in here? Hey, a bunny. Hello, traveler. What you buying, stranger? Tough glove, a manly pandano, a bicycle. A cinnamon bun, because she's a, a bunny. Uh, 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 I like the manly banana. B bandana. Manly banana, goodness. I can't afford this other stuff because I suck. Hello, traveler. Can I sell? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I start spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Making fun of uh, traditional RPGs, I see. I always wondered that. You just sell, 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 and like you never buy. It's like, how the fuck do you make a profit? Glad they. <laughs> Took out that plot hole. Uh, town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget- it. Oh, is that the door I saw? Your life. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all deep down, we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? What to do here? You wanna know what to do here in Snowden? Uh, release NSA documents. Grillby's uh, has food and the library has information. Knowledge is power, bro. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. I'm gonna say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? And I just don't answer. I'm like, fuck you, lady. I tried to exit, though. Oh, there we go. Bye now, come again sometime. Bro, you charge a fortune though. Where are my uh Oh my health my health is fine, okay cool. Um Look at all these bunnies. Don't want to walk to their side of the town? Try the inner snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Check that out later. Are you walking a mouse? Is my little cinnamon just the cutest? No, bum buns are so adorable. Tee hee oh it's a bunny. All these rabbits look kind of retarded. That lady over there. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be able. Something about her disturbs me. <laughs> something about me. St something about me st you're all kind of standing disturbingly. At least those two. And, oh my god, what is that? What is that? Jesus Christ, what is this? Oh, ah. Uh, oh, what is. Oh god, what is it? 
Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This game, its humor is so fucking good. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. Aw, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition, but presents underneath a decorated tree. <laughs> I, I saved the elk thing, deer, whatever. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Good to know. Everyone is always laughing and cracking out jokes trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight, dreariness, sorry. I would, I just cannot read today. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? Can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Wait one moment. Doggo! This is who I was looking for. I knew he'd be in here. What the fuck is that over there? I just want to see Doggo. Doggo! I'm thinking again a spiked car to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I f <laughs> oh, Doggo so good. I was just gonna say the same thing. Can I marry Doggo? And I have passionate, um... Yes, can I, yeah. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> what do these two have to say? We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. That was like a double pun. There are skeletons there. Oh man, you better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Okay. This guy playing solitaire? It's playing poker against- oh, even better. It appears to be losing. What? Hey, don't be such a hothead. Drizzle said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard that they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the uh, e erasure of our local culture. I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Slip onto their- whatever, I can't speak. The joke box is broken. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, uh, hot guys! Well, Doggo's over there, so I mean... I don't see the problem. He's clearly gay as fuck, look at him. If I put out a line for some girls today, someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm talking, taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That's oh, he was the one with the line. Ah ha ha. Those dogs are part of the royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's a rude, loud, and, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. So I wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Slip bar seems fun. Doggo, please, just let me. Just little. Ah. Uh, I just want to like hug. Oh, Doggo, so good. Look at him. I just want to stare at Doggo and have that be the game. I should probably go see the end first. Ah, hair flip. That guy is so creepy. Oh my god. I'm so scared by him. I can't enter that guy's house. Hey yo. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ADG. Nope. Feel free to come back anytime. Yep. Yeah. Who's this? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum. Above your maximum? Let's give it a shot.
Well, enough of that. Which is incredible, because you're only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Thirty-eight out of thirty-six, hey. Still bamboozled us, fuck though. Oh Nito. Who isn't here? It's locked from the inside. That is how most doors lock, yes. That one is simply locked. Uh it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Oh. That's a federal crime, let's do it. It's empty. Oh. <laughs> The, the library. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, yes, I'd like some knowledge, please. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. It is? I didn't even notice. <laughs> that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. I know, right? Look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Alright, well... You failed in life. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. What's down here? Love, hope, compassion... This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of souls is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, wrecked mate. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> here I am, writing this book person comes in and picks up the book, start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. What? While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn to dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Like a dodo. Uh, am I at that page of minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. What's on this book? Alright, nothing. Cool. Glad to have gotten some really powerful knowledge. Really excited. What's up? Is that a mustachioed rock? That is a mustachioed rock. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Okay. Same monsters and humans. I am so fucking bamboozled. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Werewolf boyfriend? Appears so. Appears so. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. So I, I, I request an audience with. Uh, hello, please. See, this is how we keep the uh, the poor ice caps from melting. Get this guy. <laughs> Throw blocks of ice into the ocean. Well then, what now? Oh dearie me. Okay. Eventful. Or are these like thingamabob digger noodles? Alright, well. We must find something to do. At all costs. This game's really cool. Like, honestly. So this is like the final level of uh, Paper Mario, <laughs> not the the second final rather. I'm having an owl body experience right now. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. 
Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings it must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Check. Papyrus, eight attack to defense. He likes to say, yeah. Yeah. What? We're lying. Uh, dear? Should I be concerned? Papyrus is cackling. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. <laughs> Let's date later after I capture you. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Pirates is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no, let's stay later after I capture you. Spaghetti, of course. So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. You already learned these valuable skills from Doggo. Learned a lot of stuff from Doggo. Oh. Shit. You're blue now. That's my attack. Oh. Dear. Music just picked up. Paris is too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh, shit. Ugh. Let's see if you hold it longer. Dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Come on, man. Let's do this. Huh. <laughs> MTT Brambishy Cream. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. This music. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I'm. Yeah, invincibility frames. It saved me there for a little bit. Hold up, Locker. <laughs> Please! Oh god, I'm so not making this time. Oh Jesus Christ, that was so close. Come on, Papyrus. Oh, oh fuck. Dude, dude. Bro. Bruh. Uh. And this guy on Twitter is like, there's no gameplay. What the fuck is this? Oh dear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh Oh. Ah! Jesus. Is this fucking Flappy Bird? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I did not expect that. Oh. <laughs> Unparalleled Spaghetti Tour. Uh, this is Flappy Bird in reverse. Please. Oh my god, what? Uh. Yeah. Undyne will be really proud of me. Yeah, oh fuck. Okay, well. Yeah. Uh, invincibility frames there. Oh, Jesus. Virus, please. <laughs> ah. Uh, just, uh, Jesus, I can't. <sighs> I'm 
so bad at this. Yeah, Papyrus. Oh god. No! Please! Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, this is getting so hard. I'm gonna die. Um, 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 ribbon? Christ, you're gonna kill me. Virus! Oh my god, are you shitting me? After you're captured and sent away. No! Oh my god. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage? You're in the doghouse now. So is that it? Alright, well. It's a squeaky chewy toy. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nephilim yours, Papyrus. Thanks, bro. Oh. Was that it? Okay. Well, I mean... So what happens when I walk over here? Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. I was sure was a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second, you're not supposed to escape. Get back there. All right, let's do this. Let's put it over there for good luck. <clears throat> Let's see later after I capture you. Okay, let's get better at this so I can not die. But you won't even want to leave. Uh, it's the same. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trussed papyrus. There's a hot dog cut up into the kibble. I should sleep. Oh. I see. It's locked from the inside, so therefore not productive. How do you beat Papyrus, dude? He's too strong. Let me also save while I'm at it. Alright. Uh, I don't know why I read this incorrectly. I thought those were like hundreds. I get bicycle because it does two things and yeah. Alright, let me actually save that now that I'm doing that. It's so hot in my room by the way, like you have no idea. Because I can't have my windows open, the air conditioning isn't on, so. Windows will be open but I don't want the noise. Um. Jeez, I don't know what to think. Sure, they have to beat him somehow. Back again, eh? Suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you'd want to see me, and the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! If 
Empire, she really starting to... to... rustle my jimmies. Are you fucking kidding me? I think it was as far as I got before, at least in that dialogue, where he's like, Oh, lots of admirers, but... Oh, yeah, I got to there. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No. Fuck. Whew. I don't know what a bad joke is. <laughs> yeah, I got to there at least. Uh, I don't know what he said. Oh sh- oh my god, that's terrible. So he's rattling his bones. And Dady might be kind of- yeah, I got to there. Fuck. Ah! Good thing I have invincibility frames. Oh my god. I need- uh, it's maxing out my health, so I probably shouldn't do that. I'm- yeah. Invincibility frames. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Not too long and I'll use that special attack. Please go for it. I implore you. It's my last. Fuck me, dude. Healed my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Well, oh my god, holy shit, holy, oh my god, goodness gracious, oh, oh, oh dear, it's a dog, <laughs> oh my god, what'd that say? I think it said sup, dude. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Hold on. Cool. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyed's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend qual quantity remains stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends? Yeah, really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, it's so fucking hot in my room. I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Okay. Who knew that all I need to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical steel steel, steel trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it. 
but nothing connects it, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power, so that its monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, I can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home. It's a fun boss dog. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. That one swimmingly. I'm gonna go back and say hi. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! Should I be concerned? The door is locked. A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. Is this, uh... Oh, it's his room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can spell prepared without several letters from my name. I sang an official dating rulebook from the library. Alrighty, have a great time. Let's see, uh, step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for Dating HUD. Wow, wait, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Is that- there's dogs on the radar. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, 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 you're dating power. Don't think it's best of me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, I've never been in a dating, and I never will. <laughs> can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. And... <laughs> I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! No, your honesty, it shows how much you really care. <laughs> Not gonna lie about that one, I'm sorry, I can't. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The state won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh, I have to move and inspect. Your hat's backwards, that's the secret. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah. Well, well, that you found? Well, well, well. You found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This isn't a plain old pasta. This is an art artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti. Finely aged in oak and cast. Thor and oak and spaghetti. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. Ah. No. 
What is happening? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here. It really is, literally where I am, at least. Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings will blossom forth. I'll be able to match your passion for me. But alas, the great Papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I hope you through these trying times or keep being your cool friend and actually like that and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It will be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Hopefully, doggo. Well, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. Glad we resolved that conflict. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's continue the fuck on with this game. I'm kind of disturbed. <clears throat> Personally, let's, let's get the fuck out of here, please. Utterly bamboozled. Alright, so what happens when we walk through here? We can finally fuck... Okay, that's it. Yay! What's this? Where's this ice going? Why can't I go to the dog who's sending it? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna call it here, taking her a break. Probably come back to this. <sighs> of course it does. Of course it does! Anyway, yeah, bye. Thank you.